In this video, I'm going to show you how to start to put the DAISY 853 back together. And no, I'm not just going to play the other videos in reverse. I'm actually going to start and start from the beginning and go right to the end. All right, let's get started. Now, before we reassemble the air rifle, what we want to do is lubricate it. Uh, DAISY with the older models would, would lubricate it. They put some lubrication here. Not a lot, just a little bit. And a little bit here. Same thing on your housing. One a little bit right here and a little bit in here. Not a lot, right? Next to nothing and across here. I've noticed um, with the newer rifles, Daisy only does your, your actual, um, the one side here. <sighs> your trigger housing. It only does a trigger housing. I find it a little bit better if you actually do both sides. So let's, uh, oh yeah, the lever latch. Let's put our lever latch back in. Now, there's the rounded end and the square end. There's a little rounded nub here that actually goes on the outside. And this the square end has to go up against this. And your spring goes here. So, so there, just like that. It'll sit there quite nicely. Next is our trigger mechanism. All the trigger components. Your trigger sear. Now, hopefully you put it all back. Uh, in the event that you didn't, here, I'll take it apart. Right? Put this back together. Put your trigger lock on. Make sure this part is facing forward. Grab your sear and put that on top. And your sear spring, put it through the frame. That way it just gets out of the way. And your trigger. Connect the spring to the back of the trigger lock. Put the trigger through the hole and you go. And it should everything should sit on top of the sear. Everything of, of the trigger should sit on top of the sear. So there we go. Next is we have the hammer. Stick your hammer in. Now this will want to pop out, so you got to hold it with your finger. Uh, one point here is make sure the spring on the hammer is connected to the sear at the back. Now when you put your cover on, just the end of it goes in the little the hole here. Rotate it down. And make sure, as you see, I'm still holding the hammer down because if you don't, it's a bit harder. And get your finger out of the way, push it down. You will have to play with the trigger a bit to make it all work. And it take a look at it that it's all nicely seated. All right, good stuff. Okay. Grab your screw and screwdriver and connect the whole thing. Now, if you notice, I'm still holding on to it because they do like that, that hammer spring does like to pop up. Good. And the last thing you want to do is got your, grab your flat screwdriver and push your sear spring in. Make sure it's nice and straight. Because if you don't, the reason reason you put the sear spring through is if you don't, when you put the top on, what will happen is the top will sometimes will uh, clamp down on the spring and you got to uh, go back a step. That just gets rid of that. And it does happen enough that it's going to annoy you. So there's that. So the next what we're going to do is, actually what we'll do is uh, we will put the pump lever assembly back together. Now when you do this, when you do this, make sure, if you see there's a semicircle, that actually goes, our handle here, here's a semicircle, that actually faces out, right? That makes sense. Away from the, the actual uh, handle here. Okay, so you want right. to. If you do it backwards, it's really hard to cock it. It's, it there's two grooves here. It's meant to help uh, moving inside the air rifle. And you grab your pin. Now this pin and the pivot pin and the pin here, they're not interchangeable. They're two totally separate. That's something I sometimes see people trying to shove one in the other. And, oh, actually, you're, if you really want to, grab your little punch to align everything. Another trick is, actually, you grab the smaller one and then go like that. Because it's not, really not that difficult. It's not that hard. And then you have to fit in the pin the other little bit of the way. Grab your larger your punch. Now, you don't have to, you just usually push it down or you can tap it with a hammer. And you basically want to try and get it roughly in the center. All right. So there you go. So, 
Now that we have it connected, we have to lubricate the wiper and the O-ring. So just get your... Oh, here you go. And be, uh, be generous on the wiper. Okay. All right, just keep going. Act like there's not an oil shortage. There you go. And on the O-ring. There you go. You want it, a lot of oil on that. It helps keep a nice seal. And nice thing about the heavyweight 30 mortar oil, you get you get a lot less dieseling with it. So there you go. So we're gonna grab our frame. Here's the side where the wings are. Here's the end here. And what you gotta do is you gotta put it up like that. See like that, and come in from the back. Grab your pivot pin. Now your pivot pin, it doesn't matter which side you come in from. The left side or the right side, it doesn't matter. There you go. Now sometimes these won't open up all the way. There's one or two reasons. One, they're stiff, it happens. The other is if you got this in upside down. Okay, so there's that. Well, I hope this video is helping you put your air gunner back together. Don't forget to see part two and part three, which will be up shortly. Or uh, you're going to have like a half put together air rifle and it's not going to do anybody any good and uh, don't forget to you know like subscribe tell your friends and check out bb gun repair hq.com and we'll have more videos and it's being fixed up as we speak all right see you next time